Today I want to show you how to use a slide hammer to remove a small dent. Before we start, I just wanted to show you with the shine that's still on there, the high areas. So when we're pulling right here, we're also going to be wanting to knock down these high areas. So the first step is to just grind this clean. So after you get it ground clean, we're just going to put a little stud right here and pull from that stud. If you don't have a stud welder, you can put a little hole there and pull it with the screw tip that came with the slide hammer. So to use a stud welder, you're just going to press this right against the metal and hold it for about one second. And that's good. Then there's a little thumb wheel right here that you slide down on there and you pull it back towards here. And now, you just don't want to go... Let me back the camera up so you can see the whole, the whole scene. Now the important thing to remember is not to go too hard. We want to, we want to just go lightly and see what happens. And then don't forget about the high areas. So uh, in that situation, I'm just going to pull by hand on this handle and knock this down at the same time. But first, we're just going to slide hammer this and see what happens. So I do see it coming out a little bit. And I think that's good enough. And now I'm just going to pull by hand, you know, put a little pressure on this and pound on those high spots. And, and this is forcing this out a little bit. I don't want this part too far out that I have a little bump. So I'm just going to knock lightly those high spots down. And I think that's good. So now the next step is to cut this off, grind it clean out to here, then feel what you have, knock any high spots down and fill it. When I get that all set up to fill it, I'll be back. So now we're just gonna we're just gonna spread a little filler, and before we spread it, we just go one more time, make sure I just have a little bit of a low spot left, and I'm pretty sure there's no high spots because I knocked those down. So we're just going to spread and that's good right there. I'm going to wait for this to harden a little bit, cheese grade the excess off, sand it down and you'll see the finished product. Now before the Bondo gets real hard I like to use a cheese grater just to take off the excess. So we're just going to Run that across there real nice. I'm, I'm, I'm hardly even pressing down. You always want to remember you want to cut through the filler, not ride over the top of it. And I'm look, I have a little curve here. I don't want to, I want to get too flat in one spot. So, so I'm sort of up here, and then I come down here. So I want to have that curve. And here's my little low spot. I'm just going to let the tool cut right through that filler. And I'm letting it follow the contour here and here. I'm letting the end of this follow that contour so that it does the shaping of the, of the filler for me. And that should be good. I'm going to let it harden a little bit more, then I'll be able to hit it with a, a block. And lastly, we're just going to use a nice brand new sheet of 40 grit on a rubber block 
just a few times over this and we'll be finished. And that's it. Now, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to DA sand that. Give it a shot of primer so you can see what the finished product looks like. And now I'll give it a quick coat of primer so you can see what it looks like. After three coats of primer, this is what the finished repair looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to pull a dent with a slide hammer. And if you did and you would like to see my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, I'm going to move the camera around so you get a few more views of the finished repair.